a lot of the arches at Arches form in kind of the same place. And what I mean by that is that we have multiple rock layers here. Behind me, you can pretty obviously see this light colored rock layer at the bottom. And then above that, there's this like ripply reddish brown layer. And then above that, there's a slightly lighter tannish brown layer that's very smooth. The contact between those last two, the Entrada sandstone up above and the Carmel formation, that's kind of that ripply one down below, that's where a lot of the arches in the park are found. And they form because of how water is behaving between those different sandstones. They're both made of sand, but they're not identical. That lower one actually has a lot of clay mixed in with the sand grains and clay is really small, kind of fills in the holes. So that lower one's not as porous. The upper one is pretty pure sandstone. It has a lot of holes in between the sand grains. So water can soak down through that, but get trapped. It gets stuck where it hits that lower layer. And the longer the water sits there, it's just dissolving away the minerals that are holding the sand together. And sometimes it'll just dissolve its way out, pop out the side and kind of make this tiny little weak spot. And once there's a weak spot, then gravity kicks in because the little pieces are gonna fall out of the top until it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. You get an arch. <laughs>